So many books in the world, ain't no boy and no girl who could truly claim to read every one. So we told them to sit, gave them ten minutes to figure out the plots before the time is done. Now let's watch their last minute book report. My name is Alita Nugent, I'm the author of You Don't Have to Like Me, and I'm going to be doing a book report on War and Peace. It's like 10 pounds. So it is a lot of war, but not a lot of peace. I'm just gonna write down all the Russian names. This is like Game of Thrones. There's like 3,000 characters. I think Napoleon's a big part of this book, which is kind of weird. This reminds me of college, like hungover and trying to read. I had like one glass of wine, and as you get older, it's like, whew, that does it. Well, like three. Well, like four. Ah! Oh my god. I feel confident in my technique of expanding upon because I like used to do this a lot. So I think I can bowl, if you know what I mean. War and Peace is about war. And it's about the seven year invasion of France into Russia from Napoleon. There's Pierre, who um, is, his mom is dead. And um, there's Prince Andre, who dies. And there's Natasha, who is like the beautiful woman who is between them both. Napoleon, because I like to invade stuff. I like to go into rooms that nobody wants me in. And so I feel that I'm like him, and I'm short. In the beginning of the book, there's a party. Just like a, a birthday party for someone. Who's, uh, Pierre's dead mom. It's her birthday. The morality of the Kurrigan family is just through the roof, not good. Um, they're kind of like the Slytherins of War and Peace. The overall writing was very dense and with a lot of different names. So the names were sort of mentioned a lot um, in the book. There's a lot of battles. So that's, it's a book about, you know, battles. The portrayal of females well, there's a pretty, there was a dead one, and then there was like one that was not dead. Um, and I think that's an accurate portrayal of women. Some are, you know, dead, some aren't. I would definitely recommend War and Peace for people who text me too much because then they would never text me again because they'd be reading the book for 30 years. Last minute book report.